We're going to have a little break from the welding and stuff. Um, whilst I think about that door and what I'm going to do. And in the meantime, we're going to have a look at how we tidied up the air filter boxes. I'm having a bit of a rest from the welding and I have here the TR7 fixed head coupe um, air filter housing which I brought south with me in an electrolysis bath to clean it off. It's been in there two days. Just just the one half still in there. The other half is out here, which I have um, took out of the bath. I then attacked it with this wire wheel to get at the bigger areas. Um, can I just warn everybody that be careful with that thing because if you happen to catch yourself it's a little bit painful. I haven't cleaned that out yet, so that's going to be sore when I do. So, um, we've cleaned most of it, as you can see. So we've gone at it with um, ooh, initially that, and then this. I'm going to try to get into some more of the corners with this brush now. I'm also going to take this tube out and the so that I can clean this bit better. Um, I want to be careful around the hinges, I mean, because I'm not going to take them out. Similarly, I want to be careful in here, but we'll get it as clean as we can, and then we'll put some rust converter on it to make sure we pick up the rest, and then we'll pick out the other one. You remember that I asked where a vacuum pipe got connected up. Well, when I cleaned this up, which was on the um, the housing filter, um, I could read it. So, I'm going to show you on the um, other TR7. Um, but basically, we go from here, which is where I wasn't sure about, it goes to this here, the sensor, and then it goes from the other one, and I believe it goes to here, which um, is broken on that one, but on this one would be to here. So that's what I think it does. Um, I need to check. I think I might have seen an image that has it like that as well in a in a book or on um, Google Images or something. So. We'll check that out, but it's something like that, and it's just, I guess I'm making that as a record for myself. So, um, we've got them in primer. I'm doing both cars together. Um, interestingly, the filter covers are just a little bit different. This one is from the soft top, and you can see the hinges are slightly different to the hard top version. The soft top is missing this bit which is um, what was used to regulate um, whether or not we're taking in fresh air or warm air. So um, we need to have a look see if we can replace that and these are just from the um, foot wells on the driver and passenger side. Whilst we've got them out we're doing them up. Here we have a coat of paint on them. So that already looks a lot nicer. Um, we'll get one or two more and then I've got some Q-Pol clear coat which we're going to try out on it as well for the outside to give it a nice shine. So I think those, those look pretty nice. They both had a couple of clear coats, you just need to imagine them with this stuck on. Uh, oops. With this stuck on here. Be 
can check exactly where it goes. I think it goes either there or it might go um, here actually somewhere. Anyway, but that um, looks nice. So uh, we'll put those together at some point. And there it is, it's fitted back on the car. It still needs a um, tubing for down to the oil, but this was just a diversion. And I'm going to have to work out what to do about the vacuum switch here. And here's the one that's going back up to the house, to the one in, up in my parents. Um, Looking pretty nice.